Hey everyone, this is Prince Bright Star, and welcome back to Fantasy Star Online 2. So, hunters have just been given a brand new photon art. Let's go ahead and talk to Coffee. They are the person that are able to help us unlock this. And we need to go to Complex PA Permit Test. So, we have several targets that we need to take on here. Let's start off with a Train Ghidorin. The Train Ghidorin here, of course, can be found in Tokyo. Let's do it! We'll go ahead and pop our Photon Blast first. Just remember to keep looking for the weak spot whenever it appears. Down to the ground with you. And that takes care of the train Ghidorin. Completed. Up next, let's take on the Giger Gunagam. The Giger Gunagam can be found in Sharonia. Ultimately, they're pretty easy to take down. Alright, on to the last one, which is located over in the floating facility. So it's the second of this pair that we need to take down. So that takes care of the one we need for the client order. Let's take care of the other one. Ha! <laughs> Took it out by blocking. Alright, let's make our way back over to coffee. And with all that done, it is time to hand in the client order. So, complex photon arts are special photon arts that use a dedicated gauge instead of consuming photon points. Complex photon arts can be put on both the weapon palette and the sub palette. Can only be used by normal classes main class weapons. Power increases and decreases such as just attacks, class skills, and enemy shields do not apply to complex photon arts. Attacking enemies will fill the gauge around the complex photon art icon. When this gauge fills, your complex photon art stock will increase by one. If you have enough stocks to activate a complex photon art, the skill icon lights up and becomes usable. The number of stocks consumed is different for each complex photon art. When you first acquire complex photon arts, your maximum number of stocks will be three, but this limit can be increased by completing certain client orders. Be sure to take advantage of complex photon arts in battle. And indeed, there is a new client order here, and it looks like the clear condition for this is you need to use the Endless Darkness trigger and defeat it on the Ultra Hard mode and obtain the associated title. And if you've watched my channel recently, you would know I've already completed that. 
So let's go ahead and hand this in now. And so with that, let us go into the... No, let's head into the sub palette. And I am going to replace my overend with the complex photon arts. And so we now have the Imperial Cleave down there. Let's head over to the Volcanic Caverns and try this out. So we have a Vol Dragon here. I have charged this up to three charges. Let's go ahead and see how much damage this does. <laughs> nice, it one shot it. So, with the power of this now in hand, let's make our way back up to the Ark ship for an emergency quest, which is Regiment of the Wicked 2019. Let's go ahead and talk to Annalise. And let's start this up on Ultra Hard. Let's grab a D-Band Drink Premium 2. And let's make our way down to Harkatan. That is a really red moon. And here we go! We're starting off with a bunch of darkers here. Completed. And we've got a catapult even though there are still some enemies up. Here come the Kuronites! Emergency. I think we're being teleported. Yo, that takes care of that emergency trial. More darker. We've got an emergency trial where we need to get the last hit. Third place. I'll take that. Let's jump over. Completed. Attack! 
That is quite the group of pyramids. Jumping over to the next section. Deus Angus, what are you doing here? Hit you with an Imperial Clue. That did some damage forcing you into your second phase. Takes care of the Deus Angus. Still got a Kodota I get it over here. There's the pilot, let's take it out. Oh well, Mr. Boing has appeared. Emergency. Code. Joker. We just have to fill up that bar and we're gonna get a rare drop boost. Up the long hill we go. Completed. Even more enemies from Earth appear. I have to question the canonicity of this quest, even with the big red moon. is yet another ultralized boss, Dios Griffin. Oh well, even Itsuki from Earth is here. I wonder how they got here. You know what? I think I actually do still need overend. That finishes off the Deus Griffin. Completed. Oh hey, we got an Emperor Rappy coming down. Let's scoop up the rest of what looks useful.
And let's head back up to the camp ship. And so that's a look at this year's Regiment of the Wicked. I do have to ask a question at this point though. Just what is up with Harkatan? The last time we saw it in the story was back in episode 3, essentially after we had escaped Double's dimension. At that point, Matoy had essentially become the host for the Profound Darkness. And while Skunahime could empathize, we really still had not resolved what was going on on that planet. All of Double's clones were still there in the Kuron region. It feels like that was a plotline that never got finished, because aside from that, Magatsu is still running around every now and then. But anyway, we've got one more thing to take a look at today. Even more characters from Fantasy Star Online 2S have shown up in the lobby. Let's go ahead and meet them now. Well, this lobby sure has gotten busy. Say hello to the Fantasy Star Online 2S weaponoids, or at least a group of them. There are plenty more than this, and my understanding is that they are personifications of chips that are weapons sealed into chip form. They are apparently a little bit different than what's going on with Harriet, so I don't believe there's going to be any crossover like that going on here. But anyway, let's go ahead and speak first to Yasminkov 8000C. And once again, this is talking about how you can link up the game. And we have a client order from them. I am the captain. And it looks like we've already cleared it here. Now our bird-looking friend here... They have a client order as well. Let me help you too. Well, this is a really easy set of client orders to clear. Let's speak to Yasminkov again. We need to complete Wolgata extermination for the client order. Let's get to know each other. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get that quest started. So as per the client order, we need both Eldatross as well as Yasminkov 8000C. And off we go. Of course, we're back in the Nevarious Ruins, so there's going to be lots of Darkers around. And let's make our way into the second block. Sometimes we'll get natives popping up in this area, but it doesn't look like that's happening so far today.
I don't think there's much special about that trial. They're just more darkers. On to the third area. And there's our Wolgata target. This will be a slaughter. Yeah, I'm on the hardest difficulty that's available for this mission, and he just went down fast. Let's make our way back up to the Ark ship. So, with that client order wrapped up, let's hand it in. <laughs> and there's a new client order disqualified as a captain. And for this one, we need to defeat 50 Darkers. So, let's make our way back down to the ruins again. Here we are, let the darker hunt start. Hey there, Alice. This is not the Alice that we know from the origins of the series. This is instead someone associated with Extreme Quest. Looks like we've got a base here as well. And down it goes. Let's make our way over to the next area. There are the natives. Well, two of them anyway. Wow, a whole bunch just popped up. And how could I say no to that? There's even a second wave that popped up here. And that clears up the client order, so let's make our way back up to the Ark ship. You wanted to see me take on the boss? Fine, here you go. Yeah, it was another slaughter there. Okay, so we are ready to hand in the client order. Oh. 
And now Eldatross has another client order. The Protector of the Forest. And in this particular case, we need to defeat 50 Navarious natives. Since you've already sat through 50, I'm not going to subject you to another 50. I'll go and complete the client order and I'll bring you back in just a moment. So, with that client order done, let's go ahead and hand it in. <laughs> and it looks like both of them now have client orders. Let's join the exercise. And sorty at the seabed. So for this one, we need to clear seabed exploration with Yasminkov 8000C, Fornis Physis, and Space Tuna. While with the other, we need to clear that with Aldatross and Agito. I'll bring you in for the final area of both of those. There's our first target, the Beal Maduna. And let's start up with an Imperial Cleave. Down it goes. With that client order wrapped up, I'll bring you back in in just a moment where we're going to take on a time attack quest with Aldatross and Agito. Alright, we are all set for this time attack. Let's get this going. And as you can see, we are in the Nevarious Beginner time attack. But I've got this on super hard mode. Which, once again, is the highest difficulty for this. Here comes the second wave. So a little hint here, if you ever need to find a rock bear, you can actually find it along the west path here. That takes care of the rock bear. On to area three. These golfers are kind of spread out, so I want to pop my photon blast here. Looks like that's it. That's a nice drop for a time attack. Let's take the west path again. I don't need this, but might as well pop it. So down goes the Fang Panther. And now it's Darker's Galore in the Ruins. I'll pop that Photon Blast again. Over to the other side. 
Now we're getting some use out of that Photon Blast. And on to the final area. And let's open with an Imperial Cleave. Down goes the Dark Ragna. And that wraps up the time attack. So let's make our way back up to the Ark ship. So, with both of those done, let's go ahead and hand them in. And for each of these, we are getting a weapon. And with that done, we have completed all the client orders available. Now if we speak to Yasmin Kav 8000 c one more time, we can see that they also have a shop here. It looks like there's a bunch of camos available. As well as some posters, and... Even more of the two weapons that we just received. And of course, towards the bottom they also have tri boost, so that'll be useful for some players, I'm sure. Well, we went through quite a lot today. We unlocked Imperial Cleave, we took a look at Regiment of the Wicked 2019, and we helped out the PSO2S Weaponoids. My understanding is Chapter 2 of Episode 6 is going to be launching very soon. I can't wait to see what we find on Amaduskia. If you've enjoyed today's content, please do make sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified whenever I do go live or whenever I put out a new video. In addition to that, I also have a Discord. Link to that is in the description below. Thank you for joining me today. This is Prince Brightstar signing off. I'll catch you next time.